they were about to witness a historic moment. The first test flight of the SLS Orion, the most powerful rocket ever built. The beginning of a project supposed to send humans back to the moon and eventually to Mars. So when the countdown stopped, many were disappointed. We got up at 2 in the morning, we were out here by 3.45 waiting with the kids and so now that it's not happening, it's just, you know, it just kind of sucks <laughs> that we have to miss it. I remember when I was a kid uh, growing up, they went to the moon and my mom bring me in the yard and she was looking at the moon and say that the shuttle was going to the moon and I'm here to see this one going to the moon and it didn't happen. So I'm a bit sad and I hope it will take place soon. Others saw the glass half full. We always knew that the chances are 50-50, so it, it, could, it can happen, so we are not mad. It was an exciting night, actually, I thought, being out here with all these fellow rocket lovers. <laughs> it was all good. Vice President Kamala Harris had a similar message. Postponing test flights is common. This is by no means a setback. Innovation requires this kind of moment. And then you regroup and you figure out what the next step will be to get to the ultimate goal, which for us is going to the moon and showing how humans can live and work on the moon, and again with the next step being to go to Mars. The vice president encouraged engineers in their efforts to understand what went wrong. If they succeed, the test flight could still be rescheduled for Friday.